What's up boys welcome back to my channel today i'm on sims 4 and i'm going to be a terrible person and just see where it takes me i went ahead and made two sims and the only words i had in mind when making these two were white trash here we got the elderly big john i'm not sure if he's a hipster racist or camp survivor but either way big john is not so big big birth on the other hand is big enough for the both of them what i had in mind when making this beauty was ruth from the ozarks but bigger and sexier she already looks like she's pregnant and big john is old and skinny so i hope her favorite position in bed is staring at the ceiling or or else Big John isn't going to be with us much longer. It's time to bring this power couple into the world of Sims 4, so I decided I'm going to bring them into the trashiest place I could find. Their new home is going to be in the desert, and it is the smallest and cheapest home I could find in the game, which suits them nicely. My hopes were low, but this really blew me away. This house is a real piece of shit. It's tiny, there's a lack of lighting, and they seem to love wood. I think it's perfect, but I'm going to spice it up a little bit. One, two, three, so I decided to go for a minimalist design, but keeping all their original furniture except their bed. I wanted to bring more light into this home, so I made every wall just a big open window. I'm guessing by the rules on Big Bertha, Little John is bigger than the TV they have. And now it's time for these lovebirds to move in and get to business. It took 40 minutes in the game time before I was offered to try for a baby. I have to say I am impressed by their poor decisions. They are both unemployed, about 40 years apart in age, and they haven't even stepped foot in their home. But apparently that isn't enough to stop Big John from shooting some tumbleweeds in the Big Bertha this hallway and expecting a fully functional kid. I had them try for a baby several times just to make sure I get one. And I guess a move-in party is here. Some man shows up to our door and tries not to watch or listen to what we're doing inside. But I'm guessing it's pretty difficult to do that considering the big open windows and the fact that Big Bertha is making love on an old wooden bed. It probably sounds similar to what Christopher Columbus heard on his boat ride over to the Americas. So afterwards, Big John is recovering from his heart attack scares while Bertha takes care of the peeping Tom. She may look like a fat whore, but notice how she's wearing boots. You can't see those toes for free so what makes you think someone would be allowed to watch her in bed surely not the outfit she's wearing in public she wears this because it makes her feel beautiful god damn it so she proceeds to beat the living shit out of him nice combination oh And after our many attempts, it turns out Big Bertha is pregnant. I know Big John is skinny, but it looks like Big Bertha is eating for the three of them. She is humongous. And John won't stop thinking about train, so we might have an inbred in the family already. So this is going to be pretty interesting to see how our kids turn out. Here's Bertha having a child, and John is just casually on the couch having a conversation with her watching the whole thing. We're going to go ahead and name this girl Jennifer and spell it wrong. So her ceiling in life is a Denny's waitress, and her floor is a trailer park hooker that accepts felony drugs as payment. But either Either way, her parents will be proud of her. I guarantee the names of their children will get worse and worse throughout this video. But it's time to call in the nanny. I bet John and Bertha don't have the energy to take care of this child between their obesity and old age. I'm surprised I was given a male nanny, but Big John seems to be a big fan of him. But little does Big John know, Big Bertha wants some black babies in the future. She's trying to be a BBW Angelina Jolie and a scrawny old man is going to stop her. But while Big John is still alive, I might as well get another big load of dust out of him. So I went ahead and created a basement or more like a sex dungeon because if the nanny's over, they won't have sex in front of him. I attempted many times for these two to go to the basement and try for another baby, but their couple dozen brain cells couldn't figure the ladder out. So what ended up happening is that they forced the nanny to wait outside while they do it in the living room. Dario is out there putting on a happy face. He must have heard about what happened to the last guy because he waited all the way by the street waited for Big Bertha to be finished and go into hibernation, and then went back inside to chill with this boy Big John. Pretty solid nanny. I aged Jennifer up and she's wearing a do-rag. We're gonna need a wave check on this one. Later on, I got the dungeon to work and they were trying for a baby. And meanwhile, Jennifer is upstairs in a rage and just going through the kitchen sink looking for poisonous chemicals. I had another child, but this time it's a baby boy and we are going to name this thing Billy Ray. And just by being friendly to Dario, I was able to invite him into the household and take all of his money. And I really don't like taking care of the kids in this game, so I immediately called over a nanny and we get another guy. This one is named Atticus Dalton, and if they just keep sending me over male nannies, I think I'm just gonna have a bunch of kids with them. I flirted with a new nanny right in front of Big John, but what is he gonna do about it? Big Bertha is about five times the size. And within the day, I was able to woohoo with him. 
So I sent everybody down to the basement. I deleted the stairs so they're trapped down there until I'm finished. And we have another white person putting on a do-rag. Atticus puts one on right before getting into bed with Big Bertha. I'm pretty sure he's bald, but he's about to be swimming through some tidal waves. I mean, this is about to be a life-changing experience for Bertha. She's been sleeping with a man who belongs in a retirement home. Look at him. He's willingly eating spoiled food. How Big John is still alive is beyond me. And the work is done here, so I free these people from the basement. I go take a pregnancy test and Big Bertha... Bertha is pregnant. Atticus is already making himself comfortable on the couch, or he's just in fetal position after having a near-death experience. Either way, I was able to get Atticus to move into the household with us, and you'd think there would be some tension between Big John and Atticus, but I'm pretty sure Big John has dementia, so he won't know any better. But it's time to break up with Atticus. I already got his money and another free nanny. Which reminds me, it's time to call in another nanny, and we get another dude. Oh my god, I'm just gonna keep banging the nannies. This is awesome. This one is Ari Carrier. I don't know what he is, but I'm guessing Blasian. And Big Bertha is all over that. Trailer Park Angelina Jolie, here we come. I send Bertha over to flirt with him, and Dario stops her on her way over. This was the last man I was expecting to be upset by this. I haven't even done anything with him. I think he's just upset he's no longer the token friend of the household. And you know what? Dario is a good guy. I don't pay him anymore, but he still takes care of the kids and the household. So I brought him down to the basement to patch things up with him, or in sim terms, woohoo with him. Bertha was putting the moves on him, and all of a sudden, my ex Atticus comes downstairs to cry in bed. I feel a little bad because I'm pregnant with his child right now, but he's just sitting there listening. I'm not into this category of videos, so this makes me pretty uncomfortable. And to make matters worse, he comes right up to the bed is like, hey, bucko, what's going on here? <laughs> It's tough having three live-in boyfriends in the same household. I tried putting the same moves on Atticus, but he wasn't buying it. He wanted to sit on the kid's bed and talk about his feelings. But I was given an alert that Big John's time is coming to an end. So honestly, Atticus and his feelings can go wait upstairs. I'm locking the sex dungeon up for Big Bertha and John, and we're going to woohoo until John taps out or he leaves in a pile of ashes. We started at about 1.40 a.m., took a quick power nap, and finished up at 7 a.m. And the only reason we stopped is because Big John got up out of bed and proceeded to die on the floor. Big Bertha was heavily affected by this. She went through a wide range of emotions through this real quickly. She went from grieving to getting on her knees for the Grim Reaper and then got bored of all this and was eating some eggs on the bed. But on a brighter note, Atticus and Big Bertha finally had their kid. And I'm going to honor the late, great Big John and name this girl Big Jondra. And it turns out we had twins, two girls. So I'm going to name the second one Bertha Bertha. But the oven is now empty, so it's time to have some black kids and increase my CPM rate on this video. I sent Dario down to the dungeon with Bertha, and this time I'm deleting the stairs so we can make a baby without a man crying in the corner. And no homo, but Dario was amazing. We did it several times without a break. It got to the point where Bertha was covered in filth. Maybe this is what people mean by the saying, once you go black, you never go back. And I was feeling like Henry VIII in Big Bertha because she won't stop having girls. This is my first chance to have a star athlete in this household, and now those professional basketball checks are never going to get us out of the desert. I had to make some room in the household so I could keep having kids. I decided to cut ties with Atticus. I don't even need to re-explain his actions that led to this. Just look at this douche cuck's picture. You know what? I'm not going to even bother paying for him to move elsewhere. I'm just going to delete him entirely. And if we want to roleplay along with the game, my best guess for his cause of death would have to be autoerotic asphyxiation in a Batman costume. I had to move Dario out so I could control Ari so we could try for a baby, except Dario got to live. I was able to try for a baby, but immediately after doing so, Ari got up and fell over dead. Bertha 2.0 must have some superpowers because she was able to sleep through the baby making process but got right up when the Grim Reaper arrived. Meanwhile, Big Jondra is still sound asleep. Big Bertha has now killed two men in bed, although this just saved me time and money because I don't have to move them out if they die. This game threw me a real curveball by giving me a female nanny, but in the meantime of my new baby boy Dutch being born, I upgraded the house to have some more living room and make sure my kids don't get taken away by Child Protective Services. I aged up Dutch and I could couldn't tell you why besides him looking like a fake Slim Shady, but I just don't like this kid. I went back to Dario to try again for a better looking kid. I hit try for a baby, but we were in bed for three minutes, so I don't know if it worked or he was just really quick this time. But after upgrading the house, I was given a male nanny named Sean Bettencourt, so I'm just going to send him in here and try again. I don't exactly know whose kid this is, but it doesn't matter to Big Bertha. I'll figure out whose it is later. I was hoping to have a boy, so I was thinking Rufus, but sadly it was a girl, so I named it Rufus. Fusa. I now have seven kids in the household, which is the maximum amount I can have without installing certain mods. 
Jennifer and Billy Ray are at school, but I'm going to show you the toddlers real quick. Here's Big John Jura, chubby face kid, pretty normal looking. We got Bertha 2.0, and I'm starting to think that Atticus was an Asian man, but she looks depressed, so there's that. Here's little Henrietta, who is violently learning flashcards from the nanny. Probably my favorite and cutest little kid so far. She looks like a little Kanye West. Monica, is this Kanye? <laughs> here's Dutch. Yep, he's sleeping. And here's the youngest of them all, Rufusa. She has some pretty cool hair, and ironically, she's the only one with a father figure still around. Here he is on the couch looking uncomfortable, but that's probably due to the fact that he's hanging out with a bunch of preteens and his daughter is in the corner covered in her own shit. Here's the family trees, which may be a little confusing because Big Bertha has had seven kids with five different dads and only two of those dads are alive today. I aged up all the kids to young adults and I'm going to show you how they're doing. Here's Jennifer just sitting awkwardly at the dining room table, but she is the most normal looking of them all. Looks a lot like Big Bertha, but much skinnier. Still has a chubby face, though. This is Billy Ray, who turned out to be the exact same figure as his father, just very much skin and bone. His hair is dyed red a little bit, which is pretty cool, but he's got a real big bottom lip. I don't know where that came from. Maybe that's just a passed down inbred trait. Behind him, we got the other boy in the house, Dutch. Pretty stocky kid, the son of Ari, so I'm guessing they got this weird bottom lip from Bertha. This is Bertha 2.0, pretty normal looking lady. She was the one who was always wearing the sunglasses in the house, and now she's just staring into the oblivion in the kitchen, so I'm starting to think she may be blind. This is Big Jandra. She's pretty thick in the backside, I gotta say. She's one of the dumber ones in the bunch. This is Henrietta, who no longer looks like Kanye West, but just looks like a middle-aged woman working at an office. And Rufus had the biggest change of them all. She used to be the one with the red hair. She was a real cute kid, but that did not last very long. She is now massive. She looks like she's pregnant and she just turned into a young adult, so I hope she's not. Show you what they do in their free time. Henrietta's a real studious one, but she likes to study outside on her knees. Rufusa is an absolute unit. I think she's trying to turn into the female Hulk. She just works out all day, every day. Jennifer is a musical one. I have her practice a piano all the time. I even have her skip school to play it. Dutch and Bertha 2.0 consistently take naps in the hot tub. And if you think that's weird, you haven't met Big Jandra yet. She'll talk to them while they're sleeping in the hot tub, giving off some real Moon Knight vibes. Jennifer plays all musical instruments, which seems to flock everybody in the household to whichever room she's playing in. So after seeing this, I thought they would only need one room in the whole household. And I'm going to go ahead and lock them in this room and have a little battle royale. Before we get started with this, I aged up Big Bertha. She is now an elderly lady. Her chances of survival have dropped drastically. She's a big underdog along with the skinny Billy Ray and the disabled Bertha 2.0. I wanted Jennifer to play the violin and send her family members off Titanic style. But things got much worse very quickly, so she refused to keep playing. I put all of their basic needs inside this bedroom, but we had a few issues. For starters, they broke the TV almost immediately, and I'm not going to fix it for them. A real big issue at the moment is the bathroom situation. They've been living with each other all their life, but refuse to go in front of each other. Big Bertha was the first person to have an accident in this bedroom. And it looks like we're now going to have a little competition on who is the last person to shit themselves in this room. Bertha 2.0 went shortly after. We're not going to count the pee, by the way. Everyone's been doing that from the start. Dutch was the next person to go, and he doesn't look ashamed of himself at all. He almost looks proud. Billy Ray went right by the refrigerator and toilet. But to be fair, he's playing some defense out there, making everybody uncomfortable in this room. And Henrietta and Rafusa are out of the competition, which leaves us with Big John and Jennifer. And there goes Big Jandra, which means Jennifer is a winner, but nobody's a winner here. Everybody's going to shit themselves eventually. I made their living situation a little bit worse by removing the toilet and bathtub entirely. I replaced these objects with a line of chairs and Dutch is making great use out of it already. And I replaced our kitchen appliances with the worst ones in the game. If we're lucky, they'll start a house fire. I think providing them with food and water was making it a little bit too easy on them. I redesigned the room so it will look like a hospital waiting room. This has made life much more difficult for every character here except Dutch. He just doesn't even get up, passes out in the chair, gets up to shit, sits back down, passes out. Gotta admire him a little bit. But in a big surprise, our first death is Dutch. He was sleeping, got up, died, and everybody in this room is sad except Bertha 2.0. I don't even think she realizes that her brother just died in front of her. But there goes Bertha 2.0. She walks across the room past Billy Ray, passes out on the floor and dies. And shortly after, her twin Big Jandra dies as well, right in front of Billy Ray. And Henrietta not even bothering to get up. She doesn't really care. She's more focused on resting her feet so she can win this thing. And down goes Jennifer, one of the favorites for this competition. And does Henrietta care? Not really. 
But we're down to the final four. We got Billy Ray, Big Bertha, Henrietta, and Rufusa. We truly do have a room full of underdogs considering people always say the blacks always die first. And the other two are an elderly woman and the very skinny inbred Billy Ray. Down goes Henrietta. It took a moment for these two to realize that their sibling just died. I think they're getting too used to all of this. And there goes the favorite of the competition, Rufusa. The Grim Reaper was just leaving and I think he messed up on his spawn because he's looking outside. Maybe he needs a moment to cool off. He's been doing a lot of work here lately. And while still grieving, Big Bertha drops dead. Billy Ray is the winner of this competition. I gave him back some of his necessities. He ate a ham and cheese just 30 minutes before he was going to starve to death. He's seen so much death lately that he's becoming friends with the Grim Reaper. It took a real toll on him. He turned into a nudist and he's sleeping on a bunk bed. But things aren't looking up for him as the real prize of this competition comes knocking on his door the old nanny aria holbrook he must have learned a thing or two from his mother because he was able to convince her to move into this tiny dump within minutes with no clothes on and one top bunk to share it looks like the bertha tradition will live on that's going to do it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it's 5 a.m and i still need to edit this so i'm going to stop talking now mm -hmm.